Hey guys, this is Crypt Trader again. I wanted to make a quick video on some of the UI upgrades that Smart Deck has been pushing out the last couple of weeks. We got Mainnet launch coming up on April 27th, so it's less than less than a month away. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and get used to uh, using this interface, I would encourage you to sign up for the testnet. You'll get 100,000 Digitex uh, testnet tokens. They're basically just fake tokens that you can use to trial out on the testnet, get used to the ladder, get used to every other part of the interface and be able to trial out some of your strategies and to do that all you have to do is go to the website and once you're on the website just go up and click sign up here you'll be given this page here where you just need to put in a username create yourself a username put in your email uh, and create a password and confirm the terms of use and then hit sign up and when you sign up you might have to confirm your email but it's very very simple and one other thing is when you sign up for the testnet you'll automatically uh, be able to transfer over to mainnet whenever it launches. So let's go back to the exchange and we can go over some of the updates that have been coming out. The first thing I'd like to show you whether you're on the testnet or when mainnet launches in less than a month, we have a load up button up here. So if you click that load up button, you actually have a way to uh, deposit more testnet Digitex if you were to lose your 100,000 fake tokens. Uh, and then you can also buy real Digitex now from the treasury. You, you don't have to wait until launch. You can go ahead and have that balance ready to go before launch or, you know, if you want to wait till after launch, you can buy from the treasury from here. So it's a nice quick link uh, using that load up button there. So that's a nice feature. The next thing that's really nice are all is this menu panel up here. So you have uh, your futures. So basically all the contracts that we have to trade. So we have crypto and you can see the two that should be added uh, for crypto in the future. And this is the one that we currently have. So you can see as this is the only one we have right now, it has all the information about that contract. You also have commodities, indices, and stocks that will be added in the future. You have your spot market, so you can see all the coins that will be added here in the future, and the pairs for each one of those if you click through. Also, the community tab. So this is going to be your social feature that uh, Adam is very adamant about having on this platform that will be able to create a more social atmosphere where people don't have to leave the, the platform, and you can read them. Read the description on each one of these. So you got a news feed, forum, events, my group, so you can have your own group, so you can talk about trade ideas and stuff like that. And you have blogs that you can follow, so you'd have your own page. Uh, a lot of cool things that are going to be coming for that social feature. Uh, tournaments, you'll have scheduled tournaments, kind of like the battle that we've been having going on. So you can see that down here. So even after mainnet, you'll be able to enter. There'll be battles that are going on. So I'm assuming that's what these scheduled tournaments are going to be. You see the Digitex battle there. You also have sit and go style, which are less people. You could play against your, you could basically trade against your friends. I think is what the sit and go style is going to be like. If it's anything like the poker sit and goes, uh, if you've ever played on online poker sites. Um, so the account, anything that you can, anything that you need to do about your account, you can get to from here. So you got your dashboard will have all your main information. You can get to your wallet if you need to transfer money in and out, um, you know, or deposit. Uh, you got your Digitex Treasury where you can actually buy from the Treasury. It's the same as the load up button there. Uh, if you need to get settings, uh, you can get to pretty much anything that you need with your account from right here. And so the API should be coming soon for those that want to do trading bots. Uh, you got your refer a friend. And the insurance fund is one that I think is going to be very interesting. This is actually going to monitor the performance and balance of the insurance fund in real time. So that's actually going to add a lot of transparency because the thing is, uh, on this exchange, it's going to be a positive edge because all these liquidations that go to the insurance fund, that excess in that insurance fund is going to be given back to the market maker to lose to the traders every day. So that's going to be a good way to make that transparent so people can gain trust in that system. And you also have the help button here, but instead of that, I want to focus on this new feature that just got added very recently, which is the support button down here. If you click this, if you have a question about anything, just type in the keyword here. So if I had a question about the insurance fund, and I wanted to understand that better, I could type that in and you can see how it links to um, answers about the insurance fund. So how does the insurance fund funded? What is the Digitex insurance fund? So you can see those links. And if my keyword doesn't have any results that I like, or if I need help with something, I can actually start a live chat here. So I can click live chat, type my name in, email, and what my issue is or question, and then start a chat. And when I do that, then I'll have uh, a live chat with somebody within Digitex uh, to go back and forth with and then when I close that out you can see that it says chat now because I'm uh, I've started a chat so that is a nice feature for anybody that is going to be on testnet or mainnet and has any issues or questions that can't be answered so now we'll go over the features that are actually for the trading interface here so if you go up to the gear 
it's like the gear and you can see the, all the different color themes I have mine on dark now but you have cyberpunk that you can pick digitex theme uh, and then the light color so I'll leave mine on the dark theme here uh, I have the ladder you have the ladder side so I have my ladder on the right hand side right now because I like all of my prices right here close together like the spot and the y-axis with the price and then the ladder if I was to go to the left side you see that your spots over here and the futures price is there and then your price is over here so I tend to uh, use the right side I've, that's kind of grown on me now so you have the option to pick uh, which side that you prefer and you also have graph types here so you have tick price and depth uh, this isn't new this was on the previous version of beta but uh, it shows you actually have a graphic that shows you what you're picking here now and so I have it on depth where you can actually see the liquidity in the order book uh, you can put it just have spot price or you can do tick where it actually shows the price where it's moved up and down in the past certain period of time and so I'll leave mine on depth for that but one other thing here is like I mentioned when you get signed up for testnet you'll automatically be uh, you'll automatically have a mainnet account so whenever mainnet launches in a month you'll be able to click this toggle right here and actually be on mainnet to be trading with real digitex the other trading functionality upgrade is this right here so you set your leverage for your session up here where it says uh, x 100 so that means times 100 or 100 x leverage you can click that and now you can see that you can actually go down and iterate by 1x all the way down to exactly whatever leverage you want. Before, you could only do 1, 2x, 5x, 10x, 25x, and 100x or something like that. But now you can actually select it by to the nearest uh, 1x. And so you can either do it with that dial there up and down, or you can come here and select and click. If I want 75x, do I want 50x? And when you do that, you'll see it actually gives you an estimated maximum position size and number of contracts that you can use. So that's a very nice feature because it depending on what leverage you have is going to determine what your maximum position size can be and so that's very nice to have and so if I have it on 100 if I wanted to change it to 50 I would have to change it to 50 and then hit confirm here and so when I do that then you'll see my leverage is changed so when I'm trading during the session I'll be at 50x and if I want to go back I just drag this to 100 and hit confirm the next trading functionality upgrade is more of a tracking upgrade than anything is your my trades tab so you have your time and sales still here which is just showing the recent trades going through on the ladder and then you also have just your trades so my trades would be right here so let's just say I got 100 contracts I'm just gonna market buy and then market sell a couple times over and over and you can see those trades show up here so if I market buy then I market sell market buy market sell so you can see the four orders show up here so you have a market sell which is in red a red shade here that was took place at 5910 under contracts and then the, you can see the green shade which was the market buy 5915 and so on and so as your session goes on you can actually see your trades that you've been taking right here and the last trading feature I want to show you is if you go up here to tools next to recent trades and click that you have somewhat of a traditional order box like on any other crypto futures exchange where you can do limit market and stop orders um, so on the limit you can uh, you know obviously set your price your quantity and another thing that is nice about this is it tells you the max number of contracts so the same way as what we saw up here when we set the leverage it tells you what the max number of contracts is so if you see this slider right here it basically splits it into fifths of your max contracts so if we want to do all of our contracts that we could possibly do with the leverage we're at select there if you want to do 80 percent of that do that 60 percent 40 percent all the way down now the benefit of having this order box is I can actually set a price that I can't get to on the ladder here or maybe it's just too far to to click in the range of the ladder then I can set that here in my contracts and hit buy and have it out here it won't technically be on the ladder because the ladder only goes so so many ticks in either direction but the order will be there when the ladder actually gets to that price and for market order it's very self-explanatory you can do the same thing here with the with the max number of contracts uh, but if I was going to market buy or sell, I'd probably just use the latter. But you can also use this if this is what you feel more comfortable with. And for the stop losses, these are going to be implemented very soon. You have stop limit, stop market, take profit limit, and take profit market. So all these should be implemented uh, very soon. And basically with these, obviously stop market is what most people will use. You can put your stop price in here and the quantity that you want to be uh, stopped out at. Uh, and then also ch check whether you want it to be the futures price or the spot price that triggers uh, the stop loss. So that pretty much covers all the new upgrades that I've seen come out the last couple of weeks. I hope you're as excited about the mainnet launch as I am.
and stay tuned for more videos like this from me in the future. See you next time.